Hey guys, thanks for checking out Vids with Seds, and today I'm going to talk about a fun little tactic of mine with the goo, and that is using Stealth Radiance, and I'm going to be putting it on display here. So in this match here, um, this is on Stalker's Rise, and uh, I'm just immediately moving my mother to the uh, Magic Bush, as they call it. Now on this map, it's called Magic Bush because you can actually be in this brush and collect from the spigot at the same time. So I'm kind of moving my mother into position, <clears throat> and I'm taking on a beta player here. Right for now, I'm kind of moving my mother. It was kind of the, the S key, which is the stop command, wasn't really responsive. I was trying to get my mother right on the edge of the bush and on the spigot. It finally gets there, and so now she can collect and basically safe at the same time. So I'm running my scout into, to their base to see what they got going on. So this game, I'm going to talk about... <clears throat> Stealth Radiance, which is one of my favorite tactics, and uh, this this beta player isn't, you know, I think they're a little bit newer when I when I was playing them, but uh, rest assured, this tactic's worked uh, against players that I've played against myself that are the same skill level as myself. Um, you know, if I play a better player, they're probably going to beat me, but I've, I've, I've used this against, you know, relatively solid players, so uh, check it out and tell me what you think. So right now I'm just kind of uh, buying time with my uh, drover, and I'm ecoing up. <clears throat> this tactic, uh, you kind of with this this build, you kind of use the same build as you would uh, as if you're you know you're trying to eco up, and with goo typically you eco up and you try to get destructors and you come charging in, and destructors with the bounce upgrade are great. Everybody loves them. Um, I use those too. I do like using this also because uh, just like the bounce upgrade with destructors, you got to research that. Well, you got to research the stealth radiance. But when you have enough mothers, you know, large proteins can be costly. Uh, and they take a while to save up that much. Uh, radiance come from small proteins, and you can pump out a lot of, uh, a lot of them quickly earlier in the game. Um, so stealth radiance are really good, and you'll see how I use them here. I, I use them to attack his main base. I also like stealth radiance to counter uh, like gladius or or uh, uh, predators for the beta, uh, their tank units, because uh, I feel like they do a really good job with that. <clears throat> so you see, I have my second mother on the now the magic mountain. This map is a good map for good. It's got a magic bush and a magic mountain, so I'm on the mountain and I'm also collecting at the same time. Pretty good stuff for goo. But uh, yeah, I'm going to use uh, stealth, put stealth radiance into use here. So right now I'm just kind of darting my drover, letting it heal back up, and I'm just trying to really keep them busy while I bide time, get uh, enough mothers out. You know, ideally I'd like to get at least four mothers while I, uh, before I start doing the research to the tech, and then in, while I'm waiting for that three minutes to pass, I'm trying to get more mothers and just save up and rally enough small proteins to a certain point, and my drover finally gets caught, and I'm done. <coughs> Almost got away, but not quite. So now at three mothers at this point in the game. Um, I've already got those two mothers in place, they're in a nice safe spot, um, so I'm just going to send my new mother to where I want it to go, so I don't have to reposition them all over again. I guess for efficiency it would be best if I took the existing mothers and moved to the new spigots and let the brand newly created mothers on those new spots, but uh, we just went with what's easier this time. <coughs> So yeah, I got four mothers up, and now I'm going to research the tech. And so I've researched the stealth radiance. Mother slowly working its way up to that spot. These two spots up at the north here aren't so bad for goo, because if they do get attacked, at least the top one there I can move on top of that mountain, and the bottom one I can just go over the ridge. So yeah, obviously you want to have your mothers get to a safe spot should they be attacked. Just uh, sending out a protein here so I can just kind of see what's going on. <coughs> Moving this mount protein to the hill here. And I'm going to use the other one to harass, but I see I see two commandos. I was thinking, oh, I'll take those out. So I put one small protein on one commando and one on the other. And uh, actually, uh, then out of nowhere comes this army here, and this engagement didn't turn out too good for me. Yet. So yeah. 
laid on the morph there. Probably should have ran that small protein off versus attacking. Oh my goodness, I don't even remember it happening that way. Okay, so I lost both small proteins without getting the morph. That's not good at all. <coughs> Bad micro. But hey, it happens. You gotta learn from it. So, in the meantime, though, I'm not too worried about it. I mean, his force is near the two mothers that are really hard to access. Now, if he gets what he should be doing, and this is what you pretty much always want to do in any game, is get an air scout up to... You can uh, either manually control it with your force, or I like to get air scouts and put them on guard. That's the G key on one of your, your uh, units that's walking around, so then you don't even have to micro the air unit anymore. Uh, but he should get air out, so at least that, that mother that on the magic mountain he could uh, harass. If Whenever you're playing goo on this map, it's almost a guaranteed for sure thing that you, the goo's at one or both spots. So he's going to run a, a stalker in the bush to try to see what's going on. I'm not going to bother you to moving it and take out that first one. And here you're going to see the trouble that he's going to actually have. He knows the mother's there. <coughs> and the trouble he's going to have actually getting rid of it. And that's just bad micro. He got too close and he just lost a big group of the forest to start back into the bush. It's just, it's hard for him to do anything about it. What he really needs are some seekers so he can get them close to the bush so you can see inside the shoot. Or you could bring some artillery and manually fire in the bush. That's an option. So right now I've got five mothers and instead of waiting for all large proteins for them to build up to that, I can just get small proteins and I'm sending them all. You see, I don't know how many it is. One, two, three, four, four, six. Looks like nine or ten of them. <clears throat> Here's a key thing with this with this tactic: don't morph into your radiance before your upgrade is done. That would show your hand if they actually see. So ten seconds left before these radiance, you want to make sure the upgrade gets done first. And I get the bounce upgrade also in case I have to transition to destructors later on. But make sure the upgrade is done first. And I'm rallying them on top of a mountain, so once again they're hard to be seen. I don't want them to see all these small proteins. So now I morph this. Stealth Radiance, and in his base we go. Note that I'm putting all the Radiance on. Uh, I'm having them run in circles for a while in the base before they actually start firing on a move command, not an attack command, because I don't want them to shoot anything beforehand. Before I want the whole group to get in there before I start firing. I want to give them as little time as possible to respond. And if I shoot any units before I get in his base, or if the first one starts shooting his base while the others are slowly pouring in, <clears throat> that gives them more time response. Now it's time to fire. Generally what you want to do, I was trying to get that hangar that was building, but generally what you want to do is you want to use your stealth radiance here to take out units. So I'm um, just trying to rally all of them around, and now I can just put an attack this area. But uh, yeah, they, they take a while to take the predators out. They don't do much damage. But, uh, you know, when you have a whole bunch of them, it, it adds up. See, these predators can't do anything. So here's uh, how you finish out this, this tactic. Is you actually you use your radiance to take out units, to take out attacking forces, or harvesters, stuff like that. And then you follow up with a bunch of smalls with striders, because striders actually will take out buildings a little bit faster. I'm trying to take out his extractor up here. If I remember right, he ends up popping out some more units. See, I should really move my radiance back to my uh, striders there to help protect them. And uh, he gave up. You know, I see that it didn't work out. So I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. I uh, hope you get something out of this video. And um, if you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. It really does help out. And thanks a lot. Take care.